2024 presidential elections, the greatest show on earth, and an epic sideshow for the rest of us. Every four years, the United States gears up for the world's most anticipated spectacle, the presidential election. The candidates, carefully coiffed, face off under spotlights in what resembles a reality TV reunion special more than a serious debate. For those tuning in from beyond U.S. borders, let's clarify something. This isn't just about who will lead America. It's about which scriptwriter's dialogue will win over a nation with deep divisions on issues that, for some odd reason, often skim over the pressing realities of life for the average person, whether they're in Missouri or Mogadishu. Act 1, the debate stage, when substance and style are like oil and water. The debates are supposed to offer an intellectual smorgasbord for the electorate. Yet, these televised events feel like a choreographed battle of quips and I, where substance is as welcome as a telemarketer at dinnertime. They dance around issues, bicker over poll numbers, and exchange lines rehearsed in front of mirrors. Questions on climate change or health care, matters actually impacting citizens' lives, are dodged with the agility of Olympic athletes. This theatricality masks the reality that most people want real discussions on real problems. Imagine if they dissected how, how everyday Americans are handling skyrocketing healthcare costs, increasing climate disasters, or the shrinking access to basic necessities. Instead, candidates seem more eager to score points on who interrupted whom, rather than who has the guts to confront an inconvenient truth. Act 2. Major Issues. Barely making the cut in the script. People in the U.S. are facing unprecedented crises that candidates treat like minor inconveniences. Rent is through the roof. Affordable health care is out of reach for many. And the climate crisis is threatening life as we know it. Yet, these critical topics rarely get more than a minute or two of airtime. Meanwhile, the rest of the world watches, hoping that the superpower will at least acknowledge its carbon footprint or the fact that inflation and cost of living crises aren't uniquely American problems. From the Middle East to Latin America, citizens observe with a mix of hope and horror, wondering if the next U.S. president will enact policies that benefit anyone beyond U.S. borders, or if they'll intensify the neoliberal game show of resource extraction, sanctions, and spreading democracy. Every candidate assures the American people they'll make the U.S. respected again, which for the rest of the world translates as a potential escalation of interventions and armchair morality plays. Act 3. For the people or just for the sound bites. There's an underlying irony in how each candidate claims to have a plan for the people. But which people? When millions in the U.S. live paycheck to paycheck, some would assume these candidates would be at least a little more focused on income inequality, the housing crisis, or skyrocketing costs of basic needs. The truth is, the game is about avoiding these topics in favor of issues that play well with donors or serve as rallying points for their base. It's politics by pollster, not by conscience. Ironically, this shallowness extends to the global arena. Take climate change, an existential crisis that's impacting both the poor farmer in Bangladesh and the middle-class American in California. For all the talk about leadership on the world stage, discussions about a green energy transition get lost amid pandering and grandstanding, leaving actual solutions on the cutting room floor. The finale just waiting for an authentic conversation. Many Americans, and indeed people globally, feel as though they're watching a play where the characters never break the fourth wall. They're waiting, hoping that one candidate will address the pressing realities head-on, skipping the clever sound bites to say, yes, climate change is a real threat, and we need a serious global response. Or perhaps our healthcare system is broken because it's a business, not a service. This year's election theater, with its debates that feel more scripted than ever, underscores a hard truth. The presidential stage is designed for entertainment, not enlightenment. What's unfortunate is that the issues it ignores are as real as they are devastating. Until the greatest democracy decides to treat elections as something more than a show, the world will keep watching this sideshow with growing impatience. Because after all, when the curtain falls, everyone, not just America, lives with the consequences.